hello you guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i design these beautiful nails and also how i package them if you would like to see it then stay tuned For this set that I'm working on today, I'm going to be using my Beatles gel polish that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to be using some gold foil as well. This nail set is for my mom. She came across a picture that she liked and she wants to know if I could recreate it for her. I usually don't copy pictures that people send me because I don't want anybody to think I'm trying to copy their work, but it's not like I'm putting this set on my website. It's for my mom, so I'm going to try to get it as close to it as I possibly can. It's so crazy to me how everybody is like, oh, this person copied me and all of that, when I haven't seen so many nails of smiley faces and flowers and, and they all look the same so i think everybody's copying everybody to be honest it would be really nice to see some original designs that's so hard to come by nowadays but anyway back to these nails i'm gonna do th these three um the blue of course and then i'm gonna come back in with the white gel polish and paint the other two nails because they're gonna be my accent nails. I don't know about y'all, but I love a plain white nail. Like it's, it's so satisfying for me to look at. Like I, I wanna go make a whole completely white set of gel nails right now just from looking at this this spongebob set of nails that i have on right now was like a random design that i decided i wanted to try i was feeling playful and i wanted something fun and plus i was trying to learn how to ombre with the brush which didn't turn out too good so I'm sticking with the sponge method, but these nails were really cute, super fun, and I enjoyed them. I took them off um, somewhere later in this video, I, I believe. <laughs> I don't know why, but you'll see it later. I just come back and the nails are just gone. So what I'm doing here for the accent nail, I went in with some clear top coat and I got a detail brush just dipping it in my blue gel polish and making random strokes everywhere and the gel top coat will help it spray it and maybe give me that marble effect that I'm going for when you're doing this please keep in mind that the gel polish is going to pull to the side of the nail so any excess you're just going to want to wipe it off before you cure so you don't lose your shape I'm going to cure that for about 60 seconds and then I'm going to move on and do the rest of the accent nails. After that has cured, I try to go in with my tiny detail brush and just make some more subtle details on the nail, but it didn't turn out quite like I wanted to. So I tried to dip it in my top coat and spread it, but that wasn't working. So I just wiped it all off, went in with the top coat, did not cure it and went back in with the dark blue and decided to let it spread itself throughout the nail just like I had done with the lighter blue. Mm -hmm. 
really there is no method to this i'm just doing what i feel looks good i'm not trying to be perfect with it i'm pretty sure there's a perfect technique out there somewhere i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to do what i think looks good to me In the picture my mom sent me, I noticed that there were gold flakes on the nail. And I'm not sure if they actually used um, the gold flakes or if they used foil. But I think that foil will look better. So I'm going in with my McCart nail foil glue. I'm going to put it on the nail, cure it for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to grab my foil and just place a random gold specks everywhere until I'm satisfied. I went ahead and did the other nails like that as well. Now that that is done, I'm going back in with my top coat and I'm gonna get these babies shining. As you can see, baby Brennan was not letting me get work done. So I wasn't able to show me boxing these, but this is what they look like. And now I'm going to show you how I package them. Now this packaging that I'm doing here is not for single orders. They're for my larger orders, but for demonstration purposes, and I already got the video going, I'm going to show you this is how i package my large orders of course i have my thank you cards and my business cards this is my prep kit that's included i also throw in a free gift with all of my orders large or small just to say thank you for supporting me and of course the nails I did design this box myself with my Cricut that I recently ordered. I think it came out really cute. I was so excited to even try it. And I got the idea from a video that I seen. I'm not sure what her channel is called, but I'll insert it somewhere. So you can um, go check that out if you are a small business and you would like to see how to customize your packaging. Y'all, please do not come for me in this bow I tried. I am not good at bows, but trust me, my mama schooled me on it. She is like the bow queen. Oh, make sure you check out her channel too, DIY Luxuries by Leora. I do believe that she did an unboxing for this set. So if you want to see that, go check her out. I'll try to link the video at the end. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.